John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com here with a new demonstration for you of iTunes 8.0. As you can see, I've got iTunes 8.0 here open up on my desktop. And the first thing you'll notice is this new grid layout that um, allows you to view your albums by artwork. It's broken up here by albums, and sorted by artists, genre, or composer. Now if you go to artists, one thing I'll show you is you only see one artist per album which is very interesting. If I, if I scroll up here, you can see all of my um, different albums. Let's say I go to Green Day, for example. You notice that the different albums show up as I move the mouse. So I've got multiple albums there in one window. So that's the first thing you'll notice that's different. The second thing you'll notice is over here on the right-hand side, this Atom-looking logo, which now signifies genius, called the Genius Sidebar. And over here on the left-hand side, under playlists, you'll see a genius playlist. So I'll show you what that does. Let's open up the Green Day. And you'll see now that it's all sorted by, um, by artists and albums. So here are the various albums. Let's scroll to one song here off of, let's say, American Idiot, for example. And I can click, click a song. Now I'll just pause that because I don't want to get in any copyright issues. But once you play a song, you'll notice that it's immediately populated on the sidebar by recommendations and similar songs that you can purchase in iTunes that the Apple Cloud recommends uh, for similar genre and song. So you can go right here and easily just buy one of those songs uh, if you'd like. The next thing you'll notice down here, this little genius icon, if you click it, it'll pull up songs on your playlist that are similar to the one you just played. And the more people that use the genius playlist, the more accurate it will get. So I just played a Green Day song, and they pulled up other songs by Green Day uh, and some random other tracks that I happen to have in my library. Um, so I expect it to get better um, as time progresses. Nothing else really major. The big changes in iTunes 8.0 is the Genius playlist and this new grid view, which again, you can just scroll down and see your different videos and uh, music. So anyway, guys, this is just a real quick demonstration here of iTunes 8.0. I'll do a further review on it as I use it. So far, it seems to be stable and seems to be a great way for Apple to make another buck or two with this uh, easy-to-buy genius sidebar here. All right, guys, John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.